Hello everyone, I'm Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment and welcome to Sensi Saturday. You guys, the time has come. September 1st is around the corner and that means the brand new Sensi Fall and Winter 2023 catalog is being released. I can't believe it's already here. What does this mean? Well, it means that the spring and summer catalog that is currently available at the end of August, August 31st, a lot of the wax scents that are in that catalog will be discontinued and no longer available. If you have a spring and summer scent that you absolutely love, you need to have a Scentsy Club. That is the only way to guarantee you will still get that scent if you don't wanna be without it, okay? Is there a chance it will come back next spring and summer? Absolutely. There is a chance, but there's no guarantee. If you want to risk it, if you're a risk taker and you want to just say, I hope it comes back and risk it, you can do that. But if it doesn't come back, it may never come back. Okay. So you need a Sensi Club. That's the only way to guarantee it. The new catalog is here. Obviously, I have it ahead of time. It's not September 1st yet, um, but I have it here. I have it first. I also have testers of all of the scents that are in this catalog, including the new releases. I have not smelt them yet. We're gonna do it together. We do this every year. Um, normally I break it down by the categories because they have the wax in all different categories. But today is going to be a Scentsy Scentathon. What does that mean? It means we are doing back to back to back to back to back Scentsy videos, okay? Where we are gonna sniff through the whole brand new Fall and Winter 2023 catalog. Okay, um, we're going to do it following the catalog, but I just thought September's coming quick. I want you guys to see what is going to be in this catalog, what scents are coming back from last year, which ones are not. Because if you're like me and you already have your Scentsy Club, this is also the time of year where I need to make some adjustments right? Anything that is not in this catalog, I need to make sure I put in my Scentsy Club if I love it. And anything that is in this catalog that is currently in my Scentsy Club, I can remove it. Uh, that will be in a separate video. Today, it's all about sniffing through the brand new Fall and Winter 2023 catalog. So let's get started, okay? Um, we're going to start off very strong with the new release. We are going to start there. Okay. Um, all the other ones I've probably sniffed through at some point, but new releases. This is, this is where the excitement comes in. You guys, there are 10 new scents in this catalog. I, uh, am just going to do them one at a time with you. I'll give you the description as we go. Okay, so starting off with the new releases, we're coming in with Cranberry and Cardamom. Now, I love Cardamom. I'm a big fan of this spice. I also love Cranberry. Um, so let's give this one a smell. I have a feeling I'm going to like this one. Okay, um, the description of Cranberry and Cardamom is bold cherry and white cranberry mingle in a festive celebration with a hint of warm cardamom. Let's see. Interesting. Oh, you guys, I've got these long nails and it's hard for me to get in here to warm up 
the middle. I didn't think that through. I'm going to have to use my knuckle. I didn't think that through. That's okay. Interesting. That cherry in there, it's throwing me off a little bit. Now, I'll be the first to admit, fall and winter scents, they're, they're my favorite. I love them. Most of the scents I have in my Scentsy Club are fall and winter, uh, and for good reason. This one, it's good, but I'm not really getting fall vibes. That cherry is very fruity, very fruity. That's interesting. I don't hate it, but I'm not getting fall and winter vibes. I don't think I'm going to order this one. I don't think I am. I like fall and winter to be warm, spice, you know, that kind of thing. I'm not getting it from this. Uh, but if you like more of a fruity scent, you'll probably like that one. The next one is called Dashing. This one says it's irresistible vanilla and creamy mahogany will leave you swooning under fresh night skies. I already know I'm going to hate it. I don't like mahogany. I don't like woodsy. I don't like man kind of scents. I have a feeling that's what this is going to be. Dashing. Let's see. Yeah. Very cologne, aftershave, what I would call a manly scent, if you know what I mean. Not my favorite. Um, the color is pretty. I like the color. No, not for me. If you like those kinds of scents, then you'll probably like it, but not for me. Um, okay, the next one is called Fall Feelin'. Fresh blood orange and sugared cranberry cozy up with juniper sprigs and a dash of sparkling clove on a perfectly crisp day. I might like this one. Let's find out. Okay, now this is fall feeling. Absolutely. This reminds me of fall. This makes me feel like fall. That clove is strong. Again, I like it, but do I love it? No, I have other scents in my club I love way more. Um, so fall feeling, it's good. It does have that spice in there. It does feel like fall. It's just compared to some of the other ones I already have. It's not quite right. Um, Frosted Cedar is the next one. Red Delicious Apple adorns towering white cedar in a blanket of creamy vanilla. I'm not a cedar girl. I don't like the woodsy, you guys. Okay. Frosted Cedar. I see what they're trying to do here. I can respect what they're trying to do here. This one, I don't know. I mean, I don't hate it. Again, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. This one might be nice. This one might be nice. But again, I like my Very Snowy Spruce a lot better. So I don't know about this. Frosted Cedar. Again, probably not going to get it. But I see what they're trying to do. Okay, Frosty Air. Okay, um, this says, sweet citrus and lily of the valley stay fresh in a flurry of frosty air. Interesting. So we've got citrus and floral with a clean. That's a lot. That's a lot going on. Let's see how we feel about frosty air. Wow. This would be fantastic in their laundry line. This smells like walking down the laundry soap aisle of your grocery store with a hint of sweetness. I like this one. I wouldn't call it fall and winter. This is just a clean scent to me. I like it. I will get a bar of this, but again, not fall and winter for me. This is like a clean 
laundry scent. I would, I would put this in bedrooms. I would put this in my laundry room. I like it, but not for fall and winter. Interesting. Okay. We're halfway through the new releases guys. And there isn't really any that I love. Okay. Let's, let's see what the second half holds. Um, golden garland. Interesting. Uh, forest pine needles intertwined with marigold petals, sparkling orange twist, and a touch of golden musk. I have to ask, Sensi, why are we mixing florals in with these new releases? This is fall and winter. I don't think of floral when I think of fall and winter. I think of, you know, Christmas time. I think of apples and cider and spice and warmth. Why are we playing with the florals? Let's see. You guys. Again, it's fine, but it's not fall and winter. This almost smells like summer to me. Like, I, I, don't, I smell pear. There's no pear in it. Thankfully, the musk isn't that strong. I, no. Again, it's fine. It's harmless. But it's not what I'm expecting. Okay. We have a light at the end of the tunnel here with this one. Because it's a bakery scent bakery I love for fall and winter. This one is called Make Me Snickerdoodle. Okay, sounds promising. Uh, homemade cookie dough sweetened with brown sugar and vanilla bean rolled in sugared cinnamon and baked to perfection. This sounds like fall, right? Let's just hope it's not a really light scent. That's the only thing that could make this bad. It needs to be at least a medium. Okay, here we go. Okay, when I warm it up, it does smell more of a medium. I would give this a whirl. I would give this one a whirl, but... There's things on my club I think I like better, such as hugging a mug, such as graham cracker crunch. There's a bit of spice in there. I, you, know, you know, no, no, I'm not going to give this one a whirl. No, I, I have things that I like better. That's a no. Okay, moving on. Three left. Uh, the three left, oh, you guys, midnight mahogany. Come on. Juicy black plum and cinnamon leaf brighten up dark mahogany on a secluded moonlight stroll. I'm going to hate this. I don't know what they're doing with these new releases. It's more of a manly scent, more of a woodsy scent. I don't like them. Why, Sensi? Why? Okay. Palo Santo and cinnamon. Palo Santo energizes Italian bergamot. I hate bergamot. Accented, uh, accented with clove leaf and cinnamon bark. Again, this is woods. This is a woods smell. That's the category they put this in is woods. Nope. 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 It's woodsy, it's smoky, it's aftershave-y, it, no, nope. Good for my wallet this time round. We have one left in the new release category. And so far, I haven't smelt a single new Christmassy or fall scent that is good. Let's see if the last one can pull this out. This is called Red Current Wreath. 
okay. The word wreath is in there. That makes me think of Christmas. Red currant makes me think of fall. The description says red currant and winter berries spice up interwoven evergreen and sandalwood branches. They were doing great until they put in sandalwood. To me, sandalwood has no place in Christmassy sense, but let's try to have an open mind and see what they did. They put this in the spice category. You guys, utter disappointment in the new releases this year. I don't know how other people feel about them, but out of the 10 new releases, I would purchase zero for fall and winter. And that's saying a lot coming from a shopaholic who loves Scentsy, whose world revolves around Scentsy. Um, the only one I would purchase is Frosty Air, and I would not warm it in fall and winter. This is a spring summer scent for me. So that's the only one that I'm going to warm. Wow. Disappointing start to the catalog, you guys, because all the other scents in here are not new. Um, that's fine. Those are the new releases. Let me know your thoughts based on the descriptions. Uh, if you've smelt them, let me know. If you're a consultant, uh, tell me your thoughts. I would love to hear them because maybe I am just not focused properly on this. I don't know. I was excited. I was looking forward to it. There's nothing in here I'm excited about. Um, but we are going to continue to sniff through. Now, just to make it easy, in case some people only want to know about certain categories, I am going to do uh, separate videos, okay? So that's it for this video. That was our new releases for the fall and winter Scentsy catalog. Um, by the way, I love that. Like, look at that picture. It looks so warm and inviting. Um, we're coming up right away with the next video. And the next one is going to be the holiday section. Uh, so we'll see what they have in holiday. They've got 10 cents in holiday as well. We'll see you guys in just a second.